two options for labeling your charts are text labels and text. The main difference between the two is that text labels are anchored to the chart screen while text moves with the chart. You can hit backspace to delete the most recent object. To insert text labels, click the T button in your line toolbar. Click in your desired location and you'll be prompted with a properties box. Here you can label your text and change the font properties. Please note that the amount of words are limited in the text box. In the parameters tab, you can set your text anchor to different locations on the chart. The visualization tab is useful if you want a reminder for a particular time frame. Notice that your text label is only visible within the time frames that you selected in your visualization tab. You will see a box around your text label when you select it by double clicking. Your text label is selected and you can move it around the chart. You can edit its properties by right clicking and selecting label properties. You can also delete it by right-clicking and choosing either Delete or Managing Your Objects List. To insert text, click the A button in your line toolbar. Click in your desired location and you'll be prompted with a Properties box. Here, you can label your text and change the font properties. Text is particularly useful for labeling lines such as support and resistance. Please note that the amount of words are limited in the text box. In the Parameters tab, you can adjust the time and value location of your text. The Visualization tab is useful if you want a reminder for a particular time frame. Notice that your text is only visible within the time frames that you selected in your Visualization tab. You will see a box around your text when you select it by double-clicking. When your text is selected, you can move it around the chart. You can edit its properties by right-clicking and selecting text properties. You can also delete it by right-clicking and choosing either delete or manage your objects list. To the right of the T button, you have your arrows options. Arrows allow you to mark significant points within your chart. To select arrow up, Choose it from the arrow drop-down menu and click in your desired chart location. To select arrow down, choose it from the drop-down menu and click in your desired location. You can double-click any of your arrows to select them. When right-clicking, you can modify and view its properties or delete the arrow by selecting delete or managing your objects list. You can also choose left or right price labels within your arrow drop-down menu. These anchor to the chart and can be moved with chart development. To insert shapes, go to your standard toolbar and select Insert. Scroll down to Shapes and hover over the shape that you want. To insert a rectangle, select Rectangle, click down and draw a box within your chart. When you double-click the rectangle to select it, you will notice four selector boxes in each corner and a small point in the middle. You can adjust the size of your rectangle by resizing from the corners. You can move the location by dragging from the middle point. To insert a triangle, select Insert, Shapes, and choose Triangle. Click the mouse at the three points that you want the triangle to be in within your chart, and a triangle will form upon your third click. When you double-click the triangle to select it, you can adjust its size and position from the boxes at each endpoint. You can move its location by dragging it from the middle point. You can view and edit any of your shape properties by selecting your shape and choosing Properties. Here, you can also choose parameters and select which time frames your shapes will be visible in. If you insert a description in the comment tab, you 
will see it within your chart when you hover over your shape. Feel free 